Hello everyone, Relgan here again, and today I want to talk to you guys about the 14, 13, 12 opener in the CVC. What that is, is a gas pool hatch opener, where you flood your opponent to death with links. Now, executing the build is not very difficult, you go for uh, 13 hatch, 13 pool, 12 gas, there, there, are, there are a couple variations, some people like to sneak in a drone in between, some people uh, don't, but executing the build isn't that difficult, what can be difficult is... Spotting it, defending it. So I'm going to show you guys three replays where I play against the build. I'll talk to you guys about how I uh, notice that it's exactly this build and how I end up holding the game, uh, holding the build. I'm going for a standard hatch gas pool opener. Oh, uh, by the way, if you if you wonder why this build suddenly pops up on the ladder all over the place, I believe it was Scarlet that played this. Uh, I know that Scarlet played. Uh, Similar build in the GSL match against Stroke. I'm not quite sure if it was exactly this build, but I think it, it was that game that really made, uh, popularized this build. So he's going for 100 gas and then getting link speed. As you can tell, he's only 11 workers. It's a very, very low worker, um, worker count push. I'm playing the standard at home. I'm going hatch gas pool, 16 hatch. I think I went... Sometimes I go for a 17 pool, 16 pool nowadays. I delay my gas a little bit as well, just because I'm very scared of early pools. And then you see it, right? The links are running across the map. Now, I believe in this game, I did not see the links. Like, they snuck just past me. So until right now, I have no, I have no clue that this build is coming. I've spotted nothing at all. So what happens is, this game... My opponent sees that his hatcher is already done, that, that he has links attacking my natural. So at this point I pretty much know, well, uh, this is something really weird, so I'm trying to get a spine crawler up. And the way I hold this build in this game is I'm getting link, sp uh, I'm getting, uh, link speed right now, his link speed is already done. I'm continuously building queens, I kept mining gas and I'm going for a baneling nest. The spine crawler is very very important. It it the spine crawler really helps you get helps you a lot with holding this. I also try to minimize the surface area that the opponent gets on the spine crawler. It's very obvious that that one of the main goals of the opponent is to kill the spine crawler. So as you can tell right now, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. One, two, three links cannot attack the spine crawler, and only a total of five links are attacking it right now. Because I built a baning nest and another spine crawler right underneath it. So, the moment I saw that his natural was done, I immediately went panic mode, started a spine crawler and spammed only links. And yeah, I, it get, it does get a little bit close in this game because, as you can, like, I'm up 10 workers, right? Like, worker count wise, I'm completely fine. Uh, my goal is to somehow get out, get out some bane links, and as you can tell, like, it, it's really close. What I could do is pull my workers or something like that, but that's not really my style. Uh, it, it can it can get very risky because if you if you trade badly and your opponent ends up with more workers than you, then uh, well then it's just gonna keep on link flooding you until you die. But in the end, I'm able to get out a single bane link, and with that one bane link, I'm able to close out the game. If you're 100% certain that it's this build that's coming, you can of course go for the bane link nest before pool. And then it's even easier to hold. But in this game, the way I held it is, as soon as I saw the, the links right here, I'm building nothing but links, you see that the production tab, I'm going for eight links, I'm getting link speed, two addition, two queens. I don't build my third base, instead I go for a spine crawler. Then I defend the spine crawler. The opponent, I saw that he has exp that his nat natural is already done, so it can't be a 12 pool. So it had to be this build. I put both queens on the ramp next to each other. Ideally, you want them next to each other like this to minimize surface area. Build the baning nest, build another spine crawler, and just spam links. And you want the queens to be able to attack the links that are attacking the spine crawler. So that's game number one. We already saw the game plays out, so I'm gonna skip past that. Um, I have some more though. This game is against Forcine, 5.7k MMR, so decent GM Circ player. And he's gonna play a different variation of this build. I'm gonna go a little bit faster through the builds, right? He actually goes Hatch Gas Pool. Uh, it's not that different, to be honest. Um, 
He has a couple more drones, uh, but he's going to do basically the same thing. So, what I notice in this game is his hatchery creep spread is along really far, right? Mine is like. Like, his ramp would be around here, but he's already two steps further. So I was like, well, this hatchery is awf awfully fast. I felt this was a super fast hatchery based on the creep spread. Um, mine is, like, this is one, two, three, four tiles. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles. I think there's, like, an eight tile creep spread. Which is a... Which is much farther farther than um, the creep spread that I have. So I felt like, well, something is fishy. Then I saw the four links. I checked and saw, well, he's not taking a third base, but he built four links. I was like, ah, eh, what? This is really it. I immediately built four links. I'm build I'm still building drones. Like I'm not 100% certain that it's this. But what I what I do for safety reasons is I built the painting nest right there at my natural. Then I sent my links in and I see all the links, so I am, of course know. Okay, right. Up until now, I didn't really change too much. My opponent is going for the um, for 30, 15 work for a 15 work crawl in this game, but he's going to flood me with only links. So it's kind of the same build, but with more links slightly later. The way I hold it this game is I, as I told you, I built the bailing nest here. Then I have my queens on the ramp again, like I did in the last games. Bailing Nest is already done this time around because uh, his attack hits later, but it's it's uh, it's stronger with more links. I tried to morph Bailings in my main, and you can see how I cutely uh, walled in these spine crawlers to minimize the surface area that he has on on me. And then all I have to do is spam links and Bane links in the spine crawler range. And even if he does kill the Baneling X, the spine crawlers do so much damage to him. There is no real way for, he, for him to kill the spine crawler. This spine crawler cannot be attacked by a single unit, and this spine crawler can be attacked by I think three links at the same time. So, once everything is cleaned up, I'm ahead quite a bit in workers. I'm ahead in tech. I have an evolution chamber. I have the queens, and he ends up being out because he realizes that he has no way to hold. So this game, it's really th this wall of. I built the bailing nest here, then another spine, another spine. This is at this point I already knew what was coming. Then I finish it off with an evolution chamber, so the spine crawlers will certainly finish. And then all I have to do is make certain that uh, he doesn't completely crush me in my main base. Of course, some lucky bailing hits always help. But even without lucky bailing hit, I would have been able to easily hold on here thanks to my gorgeous little wall there. So a slightly different variation of uh, of uh, the same kind of strategy. I really, I mostly won because I went for the early link scout there that showed me what he was doing, and allowed me to play it safe and not get a greedy third base, in which case I might have died. Now here's one more replay, one final replay that I want to talk about. The 14, 13, 12 by Sorman. Uh, he plays it a little bit different as well, I think. He goes for... Uh, he has one more drone. Do like, once again, it's like a... Like, some people played with 12, 13, 14 workers. You can tell uh, my hatchery is done before his hatchery. I uh, see that he did expand, so I'm like, ah, nothing too, f nothing too weird. But what I did notice... Go back a little bit. What I, what I do notice is... Our overlords cross here, right? So the first overlord in the CVZ goes to the natural. The second overlord goes to the third base because you want to know if your opponent takes the third base. Now because he skips the first overlord because with his build, that means I don't find a, a, a second overlord. And that tells me, well, something is weird. If I don't see a second overlord, I'm like, ah, my alarm goes off, right? It could be... It could be that he went for a pool before Overlord. Then I see the hatchery and then I'm like, ah, so it's... So I thought, well, maybe he's trying to hide the Overlord. It's always a possibility. Like some people try to hide the Overlords in Mind Game You. Then I saw the early links. And as soon as I see the links, I know. 
right? You see the links, you're like, oh, okay, so he expanded and he already has links at my natural. The only thing it can be is this stupid, uh, is this stupid link flood. I immediately built a spine crawler. I went for a painting nest before pool this time. Upon, uh, upon scouting. And then he was able to cancel my spine crawler. But because I went for the super fast painlings, there's no way for him to hold hold uh, on here at all. And even though I don't have speedlings, I'm able to easily push him back. Queens go for the overlord snipe. Just don't have just have to be careful not to trade absolute garbage with my banelings. And once we have about an equal amount of links, give my links that final transfusion. He does not immediately chichi -chi out, he's trying to stay in the game, so I link flood across the map. Kill his queen, kill his links, kill his spines. Four bane links, roll in. And we win the game. So we saw, so we saw a couple different holds uh, of this build. Um, the speedling uh, hold first game, then the spine crawler wall hold second game, and this time around I held it with fast bane links. Uh, the build. Like, I showed you guys holding this build. I, I also died against it quite a bit when I was trying to figure out how to scout, how to scout it. But I think I like, uh, told you guys most of the points, like the overlord that, the overlord that is missing, the, the uh, sometimes uh, earlier hatch that you can tell by the creep spread. And then, of course, if you just send links across the map, you can tell that it's that build. Or if he has links on your side of the map and the hatchery done. It can also not be a 12 pool, but it has to be this build. So, that's all from me for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys will never lose against this gruesome build again. Thank you all for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.